Did you know that some animals can create offspring without ever needing a partner? Imagine being able to clone yourself to survive and thrive. Welcome to our channel. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of asexual reproduction. Unlike sexual reproduction, asexual reproduction doesn't require a mate, and the offspring are genetic clones of the parent. This incredible ability allows certain species to rapidly expand their populations, adapt to their environments, and survive in isolation. It's a critical survival strategy in the animal kingdom. In this video, we'll explore the various methods animals use to reproduce asexually, including binary fission, budding, fragmentation, and parthenogenesis. We'll also highlight some amazing creatures that rely on these methods and discuss the benefits and challenges of asexual reproduction. So, stick around to learn more about these incredible biological processes. And if you enjoy discovering the wonders of nature, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more fascinating videos. Asexual reproduction is a fascinating biological process in which an organism can reproduce without the involvement of a mate. Unlike sexual reproduction, which requires the genetic material from two parents, asexual reproduction involves a single parent that produces offspring genetically identical to itself. This means that the offspring are clones of the parent, carrying the exact same DNA. One of the key characteristics of asexual reproduction is that it eliminates the need for a mate. This can be particularly advantageous in environments where finding a partner is challenging or where the population density is low. The process is typically faster and less energy-intensive than sexual reproduction, allowing for rapid population growth. For example, organisms such as bacteria and certain types of algae can reproduce at an astonishing rate through binary fission, splitting into two identical cells. However, asexual reproduction also comes with its drawbacks. One significant disadvantage is the lack of genetic diversity among the offspring. Since all the progeny are clones of the parent, they all share the same genetic material. This uniformity can make the entire population more susceptible to diseases and environmental changes, as there is no genetic variation to provide resilience against these threats. Additionally, mutations, while rare, can be passed down to all offspring, potentially leading to widespread vulnerabilities. Despite these disadvantages, asexual reproduction is a vital strategy for many species, enabling them to thrive in various environments. It showcases the incredible adaptability of life and the diverse strategies organisms use to ensure their survival and propagation. Asexual reproduction manifests in several fascinating forms, each with unique processes and examples. One common type is binary fission, where a single organism divides into two equal parts, each becoming a new organism. This process is prevalent in prokaryotic microorganisms such as bacteria and single-celled eukaryotes like amoebas. During binary fission, the organism's DNA replicates, and the cell splits into two daughter cells, each with a copy of the original DNA. This method allows for rapid population growth, making it a highly efficient reproductive strategy for microorganisms. Budding is another form of asexual reproduction, distinct in its mechanism. In budding, a new organism develops from an outgrowth or bud due to cell division at a particular site. This bud remains attached to the parent organism while it grows and eventually detaches to become an independent organism. Hydras are a classic example of budding in action, they form small buds that grow into new hydras. Similarly, some corals use budding to expand their colonies, with each bud developing into a new polyp that remains part of the larger coral structure. Fragmentation is a remarkable process where an organism breaks into two or more fragments, each capable of growing into a complete organism. This type of asexual reproduction is common in many invertebrates. For instance, starfish can regenerate entire bodies from a single arm fragment, and planarians, a type of flatworm, can regenerate from small body segments. This ability not only aids in reproduction but also in recovery from injury, providing a significant survival advantage. Parthenogenesis is a unique and fascinating form of asexual reproduction where an egg develops into an organism without fertilization. This process occurs in some reptiles, insects, and other animals. For example, certain species of whiptail lizards are known to reproduce solely through parthenogenesis, producing offspring that are genetic clones of the mother. 
Similarly, honeybee queens can produce male drones parthenogenetically. Parthenogenesis allows these species to reproduce even in the absence of males, ensuring their continued survival in isolated or challenging environments. A wide variety of animals reproduce asexually, each employing unique methods that highlight the diversity of life. One notable example is the starfish, which can regenerate entire bodies from a single arm fragment through fragmentation. This remarkable ability not only aids in population growth but also serves as a survival mechanism. Starfish can escape predators by shedding arms, which then grow into new individuals. This regenerative power is supported by their ability to produce new cells rapidly, a fascinating adaptation that captivates scientists and nature enthusiasts alike. Hydras provide another compelling example of asexual reproduction through budding. These small, freshwater creatures form buds on their bodies, which develop into fully functional hydras before detaching. This process allows hydras to multiply quickly, maintaining their population in stable conditions. Interestingly, hydras also exhibit an impressive capacity for regeneration, able to regrow from small body segments. Their simple body structure and regenerative capabilities make them a subject of extensive scientific study, offering insights into cellular growth and development. Certain reptiles, such as the Komodo dragon, reproduce through parthenogenesis. In this process, females can produce offspring without male fertilization, leading to the birth of genetic clones. This adaptation is particularly advantageous in isolated environments where finding a mate can be challenging. Komodo dragons, for instance, can resort to parthenogenesis to ensure their species' survival when populations are sparse. This fascinating reproductive strategy demonstrates nature's ingenuity in adapting to environmental pressures. Among insects, aphids are renowned for their ability to reproduce asexually through parthenogenesis, especially during favorable conditions. These small, sapsucking insects can produce multiple generations in a single season, rapidly increasing their population. Aphids give birth to live young that are already pregnant, a phenomenon known as telescoping generations. This rapid reproductive cycle enables aphids to exploit abundant food sources effectively and adapt quickly to environmental changes, showcasing an extraordinary example of evolutionary adaptation. These examples illustrate the incredible variety and adaptability of asexual reproduction in the animal kingdom. Each species employs its unique method, showcasing the evolutionary strategies that allow them to thrive in diverse environments. By examining these fascinating reproductive techniques, we gain a deeper appreciation for the complexity and resilience of life on Earth. Asexual reproduction offers several significant benefits that enhance the survival and propagation of various species. One of the primary advantages is the ability to achieve rapid population growth. Since asexual reproduction does not require a mate, organisms can reproduce quickly and efficiently whenever conditions are favorable. This capability is particularly beneficial for microorganisms like bacteria and algae, which can rapidly colonize new environments. Additionally, the energy and time saved by not needing to find and court a mate allow these organisms to allocate more resources towards growth and reproduction, further boosting their population numbers. However, asexual reproduction also comes with notable limitations. One major drawback is the lack of genetic diversity among offspring. Since the progeny are genetic clones of the parent, there is no variation that can help the population adapt to changing environmental conditions or resist diseases. This uniformity makes asexually reproducing species more vulnerable to epidemics and environmental changes. For example, if a disease affects one individual, it is likely to impact all others in the population, potentially leading to widespread mortality. In contrast, sexually reproducing populations benefit from genetic diversity, which enhances their resilience and adaptability. When comparing asexual reproduction to sexual reproduction, the differences become more pronounced. Sexual reproduction involves the combination of genetic material from two parents, resulting in offspring with unique genetic profiles. This genetic diversity is a significant evolutionary advantage, providing a buffer against environmental changes and disease outbreaks. However, sexual reproduction is typically slower and more resource-intensive, requiring individuals to invest time and energy in finding and competing for mates. 
Despite these challenges, the genetic variation generated through sexual reproduction often outweighs the reproductive speed and simplicity of asexual reproduction, especially in stable and competitive environments. In this video, we've explored the fascinating world of asexual reproduction in animals. We started by defining asexual reproduction and discussing its key characteristics, such as the lack of a need for a mate and the production of genetically identical offspring. We then delved into the various types of asexual reproduction, including binary fission, budding, fragmentation, and parthenogenesis, with intriguing examples like amoebas, hygras, starfish, and certain reptiles. We highlighted the benefits of asexual reproduction, such as rapid population growth and the ability to reproduce without a mate, as well as its limitations, including the lack of genetic diversity and increased susceptibility to diseases. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment with your thoughts or questions, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fascinating content. For those interested in learning more about reproduction in the animal kingdom, check out our related videos on sexual reproduction and evolutionary strategies. You can also find additional resources and articles linked in the description below. Thank you for watching. We appreciate your support and enthusiasm for learning about the wonders of nature. Be sure to follow us on social media for updates and more exciting content. Subscribe to our channel, share this video with your friends, and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. See you next time.